Our last set of examples deal with earthquakes. And the equation for earthquakes is logarithmic right here. And so the magnitude m is the log of its intensity i compared to some standard. So they've got a set standard and then they measure the intensity when there is an earthquake and compared to that standard they come up with something on the Richter scale which we call the magnitude. Every time you go, because it's a, a log base, every time you go up one here, right, remember m, if this was log, m is an exponent and this is a common log so its base is 10. So each time you go up by one on m, you're increasing the exponent by one. And if you increase the exponent by one, that makes your earthquake 10 times more powerful than what it was if it was one less. Okay, so here they have a nine in Japan would be 100 times more than a seven that happened in the same country. So once you get up to those, like big earthquakes are in those like seven, eights, and nines, they make a huge difference as you're going through. So here's our example. What we're going to do is we're going to look at, I don't like that, there we go. We're going to look at how we can use the formula exactly, and then with all earthquake questions, because you know that every time you go up by one, it's tenfold, we're going to look at a way that you can understand a shortcut for earthquakes. So the most intense earthquake recorded was in Chile, a 9.5. So let's calculate the intensity in terms of a standard earthquake. So here's our formula. Well, that's an S. Looks like a 2, but it really was an S. There we go. Here's our formula. And we know the magnitude is 9.5, and the question said calculate the intensity. So we want to get this capital I by itself. Where is the capital I? It's inside of a logarithm. How do we solve logarithmic equations? Well, our main goal was to get a single log. Can you see that we already have a single log? Then once you have a single logarithm, if you're trying to solve this, use the definition and change it to exponential form. So in this case, what's the base? 10. 10 to the 9.5 would equal i over s. Now to solve for i, I would have to multiply both sides by s. So 10 to the power of 9.5 times s is equal to i. So the intensity of this earthquake was 10 to the 9.5, which is a huge number, times more intense than the standard earthquake, or whatever they use as a standard to measure to. Now, the Haiti earthquake, which was in the question right beside, it had a magnitude of 7. So I'm going to put a little C by this intensity to say that that was the intensity of Chile. Can you see that if we did the same thing, the intensity for Haiti would be 10 to the 7, because its magnitude was 7, times a standard earthquake. And if we wanted to compare those two, how, many, how much more intense was one than the other, well, you could take the intensity of Chile and divide it by the intensity of the Haiti one. What that does is you get 10 to the 9.5 times s over 10 to the 7 times s. What's going to happen to those s's? They just go away. And what exponent law do you have when you divide? You can subtract. And this is where the shortcut comes into play. If you're comparing two earthquakes, all you need to know is how much the magnitude has gone up by. We're go we go from 7 to 9.5.
can you see that you're going up by 2.5? That means this is going to be 10 to the power 2.5 times bigger. Because if you go up by 1, it's 10 times bigger. If you go up by 2, 10 to the 2 would be 100 times bigger. So we just need to do 10 to the 2.5 in our calculator. three hundred and sixteen point two times more intense so it is accepted on the exam, if you don't use the formula per se and get intensity in terms of standard and the other intensity in terms of standard and then divide them, they have accepted that if you know that the one is 9.5 and the other one is 7 and solve it like that, that short, that simple, it's fine. Yes? I typed it into my calculator. So 10 to the 2.5 in my calculator is 360. So questions for this one. 4, 5, 9, 10, and 11. 